Hey everyone, I was lucky to get my phone to work here for a few moments, so I decided to go ahead and make a video. I'm going to actually make a few videos, um, but first, I just want to say I have no idea why the notifications will not go away for Voodoo. I don't have the Voodoo app, well the Voodoo app, my phone is too old to use the Voodoo app for movies and TV anymore, so I, I don't know what happened. It claims it's too old, so I can't view any of the content, so that's why you see a bunch of Voodoo symbols above on the top left hand corner. Devices can be crazy. Anyway, um, the topic of this video is YouTube's new experiment with personalized feeds. It's actually angering several creators and viewers right now because if you've heard about this several YouTube, uh, several YouTubers have been talking about this where YouTube is planning on no longer showing, it's an experiment they're doing with some and not others, but they're no longer showing videos in chronological order so if you're a youtuber who makes a lot of videos that could be quite frustrating like I've made well over 600 videos I've made probably 650 or more maybe 680 I'm not sure I'll have to look at my video count but it's a lot of video so I mean those with more videos now they want to take videos that get more views I think is basically what their argument was and try to put them at the forefront of your channel so other people can see them but the thing is about that is they could restrict content like like I've been experiencing with uh, views my videos are not getting the views and comments are not showing up notifications are not popping up and just all of that kind of mess where I'm getting issues YouTube is gonna get has been, has been giving me quite a bit of issues with interactiveness with the uh, with my viewers so I've noticed that not all my views are showing up even some people have told me that in messages that my uh, the messages that go through that the views their views aren't even showing up or if they like a video the like doesn't show up or it goes away after they like it or if they put it into a playlist it doesn't show up any any longer in that playlist or if they um, decide to uh, subscribe it will unsubscribe them later things like that they something is going on hacking or something they shouldn't be able to do that that is uh, that's just wrong but the final step is removing any control they th they he believes this this youtuber believes that the final step is removing any control users have over content they see so this individual right here is the one that first talked about it I know that uh, Philip DeFranco is also has also made a video about it Let's see, Ethan Klein of H3H3 and Philip DeFranco as well are talking about this now. So, several several YouTubers discussing the Do Daily News are discussing this issue. So, YouTube is trying to t uh, YouTube is trying to make scrolling through subscriptions through subscription feeds easier by claiming anyway by introducing an idea that according to creators threatens the ecosystem of personalized feeds. So, the name sounds great. Why wouldn't someone want a personalized feed? It infers that people are served the videos they're most likely going to watch and that they won't have to hunt those particular videos down. The move is a major departure from, for YouTube, which up until recently listed videos in chronological order. Now, as you know, they claim this YouTube tweeted out, well, this is just an experiment, but usually when they do an experiment later it becomes a thing it becomes an actual thing something you are given the option to do now usually in the future you are made to do at first everyone was given the option to go from Internet Explorer to something else to Chrome for example everyone was given the option to use Chrome under Google you didn't have to use Chrome browser now it's on every device and that's pretty much all you use you had to move your account over to Chrome now we all have to have Chrome with the I've noticed it actually does have 666 as their logo which I don't know why they have to do that to everything, but they do. My Chromecast has it, the Chrome uh, Chrome accounts have it, everything, their logo, that's what it is, three sixes. Anyway, um, moving on to, uh, back to this, I mean, when they say something is an experiment, usually that's what they are going to do in the future. An experiment is to try, is to try something out for the future, so it's likely that they are going to do this in the future, and usually you're made to go to it regardless whether you want to or not. Take the, uh, which I don't mind them as long as they're not in my body, but the chip cards, for example, the debit cards. My mama's debit card, well, she was made to go to uh, any debit cards, really, even prepaid debit cards that you use. 
our debit cards, they're made to go to uh, the chip card. And it says, well, if you don't, they stated from the bank and from, from the account that if, from the bank, if you don't go over to that chip card now, it was an experiment at first for a few hundred thousand people, then a few million people, and then all of a sudden everyone had to take it. They said, if you don't go to the chip card, your card is going to deactivate anyway. Your card is going to deactivate and you can't use the swipe card anymore. Some places still use the swipe, but you have to have the chip card regardless. So, did you get a choice there? No, at first it was an experiment. It was a, it was a uh, a trial. Then it became it was not, it was optional at first. Then it became mandatory. So the same with this YouTube experiment. Twitter did experiments like that. Facebook did experiments like that. I don't have Facebook. I do have Twitter, but I don't have Facebook. Uh, Google did experiments like that. Now YouTube is going in these in this direction and doing experiments like that. Well. We're going to experiment with something. Well, when they do an experiment, it usually later becomes mandatory. So they said the name sounds great. You'd want personalized videos, but the thing is, it's a it's a departure majorly for YouTube. It's a major departure. Listing videos in chronological order is what users always expected from YouTube. I mean, you always expect that. So, I mean, when you're watching one video, and if you have the automatic play put on turned on, if you have um, if you have automatic if you want it to transition from one video to the next, autoplay, similar to the way Voodoo does, but Voodoo does the episodes where you, it plays one and one after another in a row. But with YouTube, you have autoplay where it plays the next video suggested based on what you're watching. Isn't that what that's for? And the video suggestions, isn't that what they're for? But anyway, uh, although I will admit the recommendations they have are crazy on YouTube. Sometimes they have no... They have no relation to what you're even thinking of watching at the moment, but sometimes they're pretty random. But I will state that uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. But then, anyway, they said the it's published the content, hypothetically any video published by a creator, back to the article, a, a user subscribed to would appear in the sub box at that time. At the end of the day, people could then browse through these those videos and see every single video offered, choosing which ones to watch. That's no longer the case at this moment. You can't go back and see every video. So maybe that's why some of my videos are not being viewed, because maybe they're restricting, restricting it from being recommended or being shown in the videos list. So personalized feeds always sound great, but they rarely are. Just look at every other app that moved to chronological feeds to personalize from chronological to personalized or algorithm defined feeds. No one no one's particularly happy with that. This quote here states, "We are currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed." A YouTube representative said on Twitter today, "We find that some viewers are able to move more easily and more easily find the videos that they want to watch when we order the subs feed in a in a personalized order versus always showing most recent videos first, the most recent video first." So, this individual here this YouTuber says that if YouTube does this, it's doomed. So, and I, you know, I'm, uh, I would say it, uh, it is a bad idea. The announcement caught most creators by surprise. Not only did it suggest a move that no one asked for, but to it introduced even more concerns over how YouTube's subscription boxes worked. So, as Ethan Klein tweeted, the the sub feed was the last place that was untouched by YouTube's optimization, quote unquote, and now they're doing it. Now YouTube can take you, make your channel completely invisible, or even, or even to to your own subscribers. See, that is that might be what's happening with my channel. They can make some videos completely invisible, and uh, I've had individuals messaging me about that. They they've told me. They sent in the comment section or by email stating some of their videos do not show up at all, and they don't. They show up on their main page, but when you go to look at their um, videos list, you can't find it. So, especially if you're looking for the channel as another person, so it's 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 a way to restrict viewership, really, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about this. 
Now YouTube, if you get to see this video, now YouTube can make your channel completely invisible, even to your own subscribers. Stop wasting our time, YouTube team, at YouTube team it says. Just erase the sub button already and show us what you want us to watch, basically is what this person said. The final step is removing any control users have over content that they see. So, it's crazy. Now users will not be able to, uh, under this new move, will not be able to have any control over the content we see, and it's insane. Multiple YouTube personalities, many of whom previously complained about their videos not appearing in people's subscription boxes at all, exactly what I was just talking about, Echo Klein's comments. YouTube's optimization's efforts led to fewer views, less traffic, and most importantly for the creators, less revenue, if you're making profit off of it, which would be awesome if I was making money from this, or from YouTube in general, from any of my, any of my channels, or any of my, uh, any of my content, that would be awesome. But, as Klein alluded to his tweets. I mean, you can't interact with people that way. I mean, it's also a great thing to interact with people, and I've noticed that it's not being possible as much recently because of this move they've done. Personalized feeds feel like the final nail in the coffin for many, for so many cre creators out there. YouTube's goal is it states here, to increase engagement. That's why Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all switched over. Companies believe the more someone engages with a creator or follower's content, the more likely they are to want to see more of that person's posts. It's a more, it's a logical concept, but it does not, it, but one that just doesn't work in reality, as Jordan Crook wrote on TechCrunch. When Instagram unveiled its algorithmic feed, which I don't have Instagram, but uh, might in the future, Moving away from the much preferred chronological display. So, the thing is, uh, what I have to say, uh, uh, one thing that I have to say about that, I've noticed that Twitter, Twitter will also, Twitter will make your tweet known and get more content if it is something that they feel is relevant. Like, if you were to post something, if you posted an opinion, just your humble opinion on something, then they keep it down if it's not something politically that they want to promote or if it's something, say, uh, someone's anti-political rant or something. If, uh, if they said something negative about the president, a president that they don't particularly like in the media and those in control, if you said something negative about something they did, it will be jumped right to the top or that hashtag will be jumped right to the top. A trending thing a trending hashtag but if you put out a hashtag or something because of something positive that the president that they don't like did if you put out a hashtag or if you put out a tweet stating something positive it gets little to no viewership or likes or content or, or retweets or whatever anything it gets hardly any views basically but I've noticed something negative that they want to promote will get plenty of views. So if it's something they want to promote, you'll get plenty of views. If it's something they don't want to promote, you'll you will not get you will not get as many views. And I think that's the direction they're trying to go with YouTube. It's, if it's something that they don't want to put out there, they're going to restrict it. And I've been I've been noticing that content restriction as well. And it's an interactive restriction as well. You can't speak with individuals and it actually seemed to go through. It is frustrating, but meanwhile, I also follow this person here and uh, that person there. There's a swear word in that one. I'm not swearing on my channel. Uh, I don't like many of their pictures because my likes don't really make a difference to them. Kind of like my vote f uh, for the president doesn't really matter, blah, blah, blah. I so still, I read, giggle most every time of their post. I, the friends of them on Facebook, they're not in my address, and now they're nowhere to be found on my Instagram feed either so those two individuals there and I'm not stating it I don't swear on my channel this is the issue someone who comes home and checks their YouTube feed may not immediately find a creator's video because it hasn't surfaced on their feed I hope they don't go through with this which it seems they already have usually when they say they're if you noticed when <laughs> When, it, when they say they're going to do something, they've already done it. It's been done. It's just, I mean, it's done already. But there may be 10 or 15 videos they, they have to scroll past 
just to find H, uh, H3, H3, or Philip DeFranco, or Sailor J's videos, the the YouTubers I just YouTubers I just mentioned a moment ago, and if they don't, if they if they only have time to watch a couple of videos, that means certain videos go unnoticed and unwatched. So I've noticed that their recommendations have been crap lately. It's just been they they have not been as relevant as they would have in the past, and it's just not it's not right. I've noticed that my videos have not been going anywhere either. Even though individuals stated they watch my video, the view doesn't show up too. Neither do sub some subscriptions and some uh, views, some likes, and they go away, messages, so on. Demonetization is an unspoken word at the heart of the issue. Creators already struggle to put their videos in front of people, fighting against growing restrictions. YouTube, YouTube's promotion of traditional Hollywood-type content, late-night show clips, for example, and an ever-changing notification systems, or if it's some anti-President Trump rhetoric or something like that, will go very far. For people who are subscribed to their channels, they are constantly changing the notification systems. The subscriptions feed, as, a pro as problematic as it is, remains one of the few ways for creators to connect directly with their audience and ensure those people will at least see new videos when they publish. So, I mean, when you select the notification and you want to be notified of someone's videos, that means that's going to be restricted now as well. This isn't just a change in displaying videos, it's a security threat to creators. At least that's how this person says they see it, and that's how I see it as well. I understand what they're what they're getting at here. It's an escalating it's escalating pain for creators who are trying to find a way to not only remain relevant in a sea of constant changes, but seen to be seen and heard. A YouTube representative offered the following statement following Polygon's article posted about it. This is what they stated. With more videos coming to YouTube every minute, we're always experimenting with ways to help people more easily find, watch, and share their videos no matter what the content and no, ma no matter what that matter most to them. We're testing a setting that allows users to, the f to sort the subscription feed based on the content a user usually engages with the most. This is one of the many small experiments that we run all the time here on YouTube. We are both we are both quantitative data as well as user and creative feedback. We use both quantitative data and as well as user and creative feedback to make decisions on which features to launch. That was the statement that YouTube made today. The company has experimented with the new format since February of 2018. And yes, February of 2018, that's when I've noticed this happening to me, to my channel. Not just, uh, I mean, all of my content, all of the channels and everything. I've noticed that uh, happening on everything. Whether it be Twitter or YouTube or something that you just post online, it's just, it's crazy. So, and it is restricting your views, restricting your, um, it's not showing your view count. It's hiding messages and spamming everything and they're really, really messing with the interactiveness of the YouTuber's experience and restricting them from being able to... We're being restricted from being able to say certain things. It's um, not just... It's just a... Uh, it's taking the rights away, really, from... It's taking the rights away from the person. And the freedom of speech away from the person and it's sort of what they're doing is restricting our viewership and restricting restricting the rights really but anyway they stated they've been experimenting with this format since February 2018 and I can definitely say for a fact that they have and they will let YouTube users decide if they want to view their subscription feed chronologically or by preference but see, usually when they come out with something as an experiment, just like Google Maps. When Google Maps changed, I preferred the old Google Maps on the computer when I was browsing through Chrome. And I used to use Internet Explorer, but then we moved to Chrome. Basically, you were forced to move to move the Chrome. I think they might have brought an Internet Explorer back because it still works. But basically, Chrome changed Google Maps. Google changed their maps. And it says right now you can go to Classic Maps. That's what it said at first. And I was able to use the Classic Maps. I was like, okay, I can still go to the Classic Maps. But that was just a trial. Now the Classic Maps is gone. 
So you can't find classic maps, and they forced you to go to the modern form. So, and I'm not, I'm not talking about on a, on a uh, the smartphone or tablet form. I was talking about on the Chrome browser on a computer, the Google, the Internet browser on a computer. Well, Chrome. But they forced you to go to that. Same with what YouTube is doing. I'm sure they'll force all of their users to go to that particular format. Same with what Twitter did and Facebook. If you have Facebook, and uh, which I don't, I don't even. I mean, I guess I could, and just it'd be interesting to see. It would be interesting anyway, but if especially if you could come up with an anonymous name. But that's the one thing that kind of turned me away from that because I wanted to have an anonymous name to try it out. And uh, but anyway, moving on. Um, I didn't want to get involved in all, with all of the drama and things that happen on Facebook, but. Twitter did the same thing. I've noticed that Twitter will put certain things right to the top and get plenty of views, other things not so much. Anyway, and YouTube, the same thing. Same with the chip cards they did. They It was a trial, and they said, well, you can for now. Then it was, if you don't do this, you don't have a card. So, basically, when they want to do something, they're going to do it regardless. It doesn't matter what you think, what you feel. Just like... Uh, just like all these kind of things that are, they're all just, everything's either rigged or everything's just kind of, doesn't matter what you think. They're going to just do it, basically. Anyway, moving on, that's, what do you think about this? Moving on, that's what they had to say about that in this article. Um, I believe it's from Polygon. So, yeah, Polygon.com. So, they claim they'll let the users decide if they want to view their subscription feeds chronologically or by preference, but I highly doubt that it'll last very long, usually... And like the new YouTube format, you had to upgrade. You had to go to the new YouTube format, whether you liked it or not. And uh, and you didn't have a choice. They didn't give you a choice there, and I highly doubt eventually they'll give you a choice in the future. So, nothing is usually a choice anyway. They usually do make you do what they want you to do regardless. So, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? What do you think they'll do with it? Um, I think it's a bad idea because it's already restricting a lot of things from YouTube. From my personal perspective, it's restricting a lot of my uh, my uh, YouTube experience. So, an interactive experience with viewers, subscribers, and everything. So, let me know what you think. Much love and peace. This has been a video about what they are doing with YouTube and the current change with their personalized feeds removing the chronological order. So let me know what you think. Much love and peace. Bye. That's all I have to say.